Now next is Julie visited you yesterday. Now in this sentence, the sentence is positive. So the question tag will be negative. But here there is no helping verb. Helping verb is not given. So whenever the helping verb is not given and if the sentence is past tense. Okay. Here main verb is given action verb. But can you see it is visited. It means it is past tense. Right. So whenever it is past tense you have to use did or do or did. Now but here the sentence is positive. So what we will write? Did she? Okay. Now next. We need not go there. Here also the sentence is negative. Need not. Not. Okay. It means the sentence is negative. Now this we have to change it to positive. The question tag will be positive. Helping verb is given need. Okay, so what will be the answer? Need be. Now next, the train couldn't have left. Here also the sentence is negative. Not, could not. But they have given the helping verb, verb that is could. Okay, so we can easily uh, make the question back. That is could it. Now why we have written it? We are not talking about any boy or a girl, particular pronoun or noun, right? We are talking about train. Train is non leaving right? So that is why we will put it, it, okay? So this is, uh, in this way we have completed question tag, okay? Start with nouns, right? We have already learned what is noun. From lower classes we are learning what is noun. Nouns are all the naming words. What? Nouns are all the naming words. Now there are many types of noun. So first we will start with common and proper noun. Now common noun. Common noun means when a name is given in common. Just for example teacher. Now there are many teachers. Is there any particular name of a teacher is given? No. Then that is what? Common noun. For example, boys. Is there any particular name of any boy given? No. So that comes in what? Common noun. Okay. Now proper noun. Proper noun means when a particular name is given. For example, Komal teacher. Right. So here particular name is given.